Hey there. So for this project, I have chosen a piece by titled The Lovers. You can find it on page 415. This painting was done by Rene Marguerite in 1928 in Brussels. The painting itself is an oil on canvas. The dimensions are roughly 22 inches by 28 inches, so an estimation of 2 feet by 2 feet. When you are looking at the painting, what you'll notice is that Rene used softer shapes. He used softer lines, but he did also use lines that created an edge. So with this combination, you really don't have any linear perspective. The figures are, appear to be right at eye level. Rene only used a few colors, primarily red, white, black. But what you'll notice is that in the background, he chose to do blue. And with the blue, he used some shading in the upper perimeter of the canvas so that it would give a little depth and dimension to the piece. Rene was able to balance the two figures in the forefront he balanced them against each other. They're not exactly symmetrical, but they don't really vary in shape and size. What he did in the background, though, was he was a lot more relaxed. And so what that led to was that you'll notice that the figures appear to be in a room, but the corners don't come together. So it's not a perfectly 90 degree angle. It's a softer, more abstract approach in the background. He also, in the background, did not take all of the details that you find in one section. So in the upper left-hand section, you'll notice there's some crown molding, but he did not take that all the way across the canvas. The scale and the proportion of the figure's heads is slightly larger than the shoulders, so it gives the appearance that the heads are bigger especially in the male. You'll notice that in the male, his head appears to be larger than in the females because his shoulders are so sloped and his torso appears to be so, so much smaller than hers. Her shoulders don't really have any definition and that is how Renee was able to balance the male-female torsos and make the heads more prominent. When you're looking at the painting, you'll notice that there is very heavy shading between the mouths of the two figures. Rene used that shading to create the focal point on the canvas. When I'm looking at this piece and I have to think about it critically enough to interpret the meaning of it, what I came away with was that the price of lust is intimacy. The figures desire each other but the lust prevents the couple from being intimate enough to show their true selves to each other. An interesting fact about the artist himself, Rene, was that when he was 14, his mother committed suicide by drowning. And when the authorities went to go fish her body out of the river, he was there and he watched them pull her out. And when they pulled his mother out, her dress had become wrapped around her head so that she couldn't see her face. And in Rene, the history of Renee's career, he routinely, whenever he would have to paint two, two or more people together, would shroud their face, as you can see in, in the lovers here. And he denied for the entirety of his work that it ever had anything to do with his mother. But many people often theorize that that particular time in his life is what led him to be able to do so much of his work without ever really giving the characters any personality or any kind of presence other than their actions, never their physical facial features. When I was looking for a piece, I chose this particular one not so much because of the emotional reaction that I had to it, but because I was able to look at the skill set that he had, his, his form, 
and appreciate the fact that he was able to paint the piece with a less rigid less rigid lines and colors and style for the most part. When you look at some of his other work, especially on page 10, so on page 10 of our textbook in the right top right hand corner, you'll see the inset of one of his paintings and it's titled This Is Not a Pipe. And you can see his his a variation of the skill there. Very clean lines, very definitive detail, and for the most part all of his work is done with very bold colors, clear lines, sharp edges, but for this piece it spoke to me because in the desire for the two people to be with each other it becomes softer. So The Lovers by Renee Marguerite page 415 and if you're interested in comparison, he also has some work within our textbook on page 10. Thanks.